Well, one of the most intractable problems in paleontology is one of Darwin's own devising. When Darwin wrote The Origin of Species, he knew of a group of fossils low in the geological column called the Cambrian. Since Darwin believed that all animals shared common ancestors, he believed that the animals in the Cambrian must therefore have ancestors in the rocks below them. To put the Cambrian explosion in context, let's think of Earth history like a football field. On an old age system, the beginning of the Earth at one end zone is four and a half billion years ago, and the present is at the other end zone. The Cambrian starts all the way across the field at the opposing team's 12 yard line and extends for one full yard. The Cambrian explosion though, where we see the first appearance of all of these different animal body plants, these phylum level divisions, happens in just four inches. It's not even the whole yard. So in the four inches that is the Cambrian explosion, this, this narrow slice of time in geology, we have the first appearance of animals that are as different from each other as mollusks and clamshells from jellyfish. These are huge anatomical differences that are supposed to happen in a window of time where in other areas you're arguing about whether or not uh, humans and gorillas shared a common ancestor a small difference anatomically compared to the huge body level uh, divisions that we see first appear in the Cambrian.